welcome back to a brand new video on the channel guys. So what I have for you guys today is going to be another episode of the Championship Transfer Rumor Roundup. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and say this straight off the bat. This may be the most crazy episode of the Championship Rumor Roundup we've had so far. I mean some of the rumors going around the Championship at this point in time are just absolutely ridiculous. So I would love to know your guys opinions on what you think of some of the current transfer rumours going around the championship because this video is just bizarre. What I'd also love to know from you guys is what do you make what did you make of your team's performance last night if they did play last night in the league. Obviously we had a full round of fixtures. We actually got two games going on tonight as well. So we've got plenty of championship action. So let me know about how your club got on in midweek but uh, enough of that guys let's get into some completed transfers. So the first completed transfer to go ahead and talk over was that of course of Tom Lawrence. He is finally completed his move to Derby County and about time he was being linked with the move for Derby for pretty much as soon as Tom Ince left Derby were being linked with Tom Lawrence and they've finally now gone ahead and got this deal over the line in my opinion this is a fantastic move for Derby really I think he's still incredibly young what he was able to show with Ipswich last season in the championship, he's more than capable of filling Tom Ince's boots in my opinion and uh, they've now got a player who's younger than Tom Ince, can do it in the championship and maybe even be a little bit more consistent than him as well. So obviously they were in need of a winger and Tom Lawrence is a fantastic buy for them. Another winger who's been on the move in the championship is that of Kazenga Luwa He completes his move to Queen's Park Rangers on a loan deal from Brighton. Now of course he was actually on loan at QPR for a part of last season as well from Brighton so they've gone ahead and got him back and uh, yeah in my opinion this is a pretty good deal for them you know QPR going forward they were lacking a little bit of pace and a little bit of flair so Luol Luol in my opinion will add that to their game and it can only be a good thing for them. Lewis Baker completes his move he's moving from Chelsea to Middlesbrough on loan and uh, a young central midfielder I'm actually very excited to see what this guy can do in the championship he's had a couple of the loan moves out from Chelsea I believe he was at Vietese for a for a little bit of time but he's now moving to Middlesbrough I'm excited to see what he can do because Chelsea have a lot of young players who are dotted around around at different clubs out on loan and uh, I think this guy could really have some potential in him. Reading completed the transfer of Leandro Bakuna as well he's arriving from Aston Villa we did report on this transfer rumour uh, not too long ago uh, about two videos ago but uh, I reiterate what I said in that video I think this will be a good buy for Reading actually at Aston Villa he seems to cause a little bit of a split in the fans some fans really not liking him some fans thought he was all right but uh, coming into a new environment in Reading I think he'll actually do quite well in this Reading setup he's a very versatile player and uh, overall I think he could fit into how Yapstan likes to play and then we also had Isaac Vassell who has completed his transfer to Birmingham now of course Birmingham have been linked with quite a few strikers in this transfer window so far and they finally got this one over the line with Isaac Vassell now of course there is always a risk he is of course arriving from League 2 so whether he'll instantly be able to make that step up to the championship I'm not so sure I think one thing that is quite obvious about this guy is he has a lot of pace going forward and that can translate into any league really if you have pace going forward you're always going to cause teams problems really and uh, in League 2 in all competitions last season he managed to score 14 goals so he's obviously got goals in him. So there guys were some of the recently completed transfers so if I did leave any out let me know about them in the comments down below but now to the main bit of the video guys. <laughs> Let's get into some transfer rumours. So the first transfer rumour to go ahead and talk over, I can't really, really believe I'm saying this really, but it is Usain Bolt. Yeah, you heard that right. Usain Bolt, who's currently being linked with a move to Burton Albion. If this isn't the most bizarre transfer rumour you've seen, all window that I don't know what is but Usain Bolt of course he recently retired from athletics he did his last race over the weekend and uh, he has you know hinted at throughout his career that he would like to go into football and the Burton Albion chairman actually came out and said that they would be very interested in offering him a trial now myself I can't see a world where this will happen. I'd love it to happen, you know. Could you imagine Usain Bolt playing in the championship? But what I would love to know from you guys, I'll leave a poll so you can vote on it. Do you think Usain Bolt would make a decent championship footballer? Let me know about it in the comments down below because in my opinion, in the starting 11, no. Technique-wise, technique he probably wouldn't be that great. But coming in as, uh, on as a substitute for the last, like, five minutes or so, could you imagine his pace if he's coming up against, like, let's say he's coming up against John Terry 
Aston Villa, he would absolutely rip him apart then. It doesn't matter if he's not that good at football. He would just absolutely fire past people and uh, that would just be absolutely mental, guys. So, uh, Nigel Clough has apparently since come out and s dismissed these rumours, said that this won't be happening. It's a bit disappointing because really, commercial, commercially wise, this would be insane for Burton. The amount of more tickets they'd sell for each game, the amount of shirt sales they get and the amount of press coverage they get would be unprecedented, really. But uh, I can't see a world where this would happen as much as I really want it to. One transfer rumour going around the championship at this point in time is also Chris Wood. Now, uh, there has been a bit of debate going on throughout this whole window, really, as to whether Leeds would actually keep hold of their main striker, Chris Wood. Now, he is currently being heavily linked away from the club and a move to Burnley. Now, when I am recording this video, Leeds have reportedly rejected a second bid from Burnley, so it's yet to be seen whether they'll still persist with this Chris Wood deal. So, what I'd love to know from you Leeds fans and general championship fans, how much do you think Chris Wood is actually worth in today's market? I mean, we've already seen in this window so far, a Son Belonga being sold for 15 million, so how much would you say Chris Wood's worth? Let me know down below. And so if Leeds were to lose Chris Wood, they are being linked with a couple of replacements if that was to be the case. They're currently being linked with a move back for a former man, Ross McCormack. Now, of course, his time at Aston Villa hasn't been brilliant for him, so it's no surprise, really, that he's been linked with a move away from the club and actually back to Leeds, where he was highly successful in the past. Whether they would go down that route, I'm not so sure. He's a very different player to Chris Wood, of course. Probably likes to play a bit deeper than Chris Wood and overall is just a very opposite player. However, one man they're currently being linked to here, who would be probably more like a like-for-like -like replacement for Chris Wood is Le Saga. Now, he's currently playing in the Bundesliga, a German striker, only 25 years old, so he's not he's still got age on his side. He is still fairly young. They're being linked with him at the moment in time, and uh, honestly, he is actually very similar to Chris Wood. His play style is very similar, quite a physical striker, good target man, good to hold up play, and uh, has got an eye for goal. Last season in the Bundesliga, however, he only managed to score one goal for Hamburg in 20 appearances. So last season, of course, he didn't really seem to have that clinical edge about him, but coming in at Leeds at the Championship, he might not be a decent replacement. And then from one audacious transfer rumour to another, we then have Jack Wilshire, who's been linked with a move to Aston Villa. Now, once again, I can't see too much actually being in these rumours, although it is Aston Villa and it is Steve Bruce, so nothing really would surprise me considering some of the stuff that's gone in this window. But uh, they've been linked with a loan move for Jack Wilshire, of course. Things at Arsenal don't really seem to be working out for him. He went on loan last season to Bournemouth and was a bit hit and miss there. It's whether he can stay fit, I suppose. But uh, Jack Wilshire in the Championship, he would do damage in my opinion, but for the amount of wages he'd be on, uh, I just don't think it'd be worth it really. Another central midfielder being linked to a championship club is that of Ben Watson. The current the current Watford midfielder is being linked with a move to both Cardiff and Nottingham Forest. So he is 32 years old, so he's not the youngest of players, but he would bring experience to a side, and uh, in the championship, he would be a very capable player. The next man being linked with a move away from the championship is that of Ryan Sessegnon. Of course, Fulham's absolute wonder kid that they've got at this point in time, and it is Tottenham Hotspurs who are currently the interested party in him and uh how, I mean, Fulham fans, how much do you guys think Ryan Sessegnon is worth? In a transfer window where we've already seen some ludicrous transfer fees, I honestly don't know what this guy's going to go for. Apparently, Spurs were preparing a 25 million bid for Ryan Sessegnon. Would Fulham accept that? I honestly don't know. I mean, we've already seen Spurs shell out 30 million for Musa Sissoko, so God knows what they will be willing to pay for a player like Ryan Sessegnon. He's, of course, only really had one good season in the championship but his potential is obvious to see. He's just an insane player and uh, with the way Spurs like to go about things, you know, buying young English talent, that would fit into their model really. So uh, Fulham have got to be cautious about keeping hold of them at the moment. Sheffield United are being linked with free agent Joe Ledley at this point in time. Once again, this would actually bring quite a bit of experience into him actually at the moment, into this Sheffield United side. He's of course a free agent at this point in time. So if Sheffield United were to snap him up, 
that'd be a great deal for them. And then we had Reading, who are currently being linked with the move for their former striker, Shane Long. Now, of course, Shane Long seems to have fallen out with Southampton a little bit. He doesn't really seem to be in the pecking order there at this point in time. So it's obvious to see why he's being moved, why he's being linked with the move away from Southampton. However, there are still a couple of Premier League clubs who are interested in his services. I know that Burnley are definitely one of the interested parties. So whether he dropped down to the championship, whether he does have other offers in the Premier League, I'm not too sure about. His wages as well also may be a little bit of a cause for concern for Reading. But if Reading were able to get Shane Long back, that would be incredible. Honestly, I'm not ruling anything out in this transfer window. That would be a, a fantastic signing for Reading. I'm just not sure I can see it happening. And then the final championship transfer rumour going around the championship at this point in time is that of Fernando Forestieri. Now, there has been quite a bit of drama surrounding Forestieri at this point in time. Reportedly, he actually had a bit of a training ground fallout with fellow striker Sam Winnell. And, uh, of course, Winnell scored, actually, at the weekend and Forestieri was left out of the match day squad so it will be very interesting to see if Forestieri actually plays tonight for Sheffield Wednesday but of course with all this speculation he has of course been linked with a move away from the club currently being interested are both Huddersfield and Crystal Palace so Sheffield Wednesday fans, what do you think of the whole Forestieri situation at this point in time? Let me know down below because there are pros and cons to having Forestieri in my opinion you know. He's a fantastic footballer but Every transfer window, there seems to be some drama surrounding Forestieri. I remember it last year when he had a fallout with people and he was being linked with a move away from the club. I think it's happened before as well when he was at Watford as well. So there always seems to be drama surrounding Forestieri. How much would you be willing to let him go for? And would you like to him to stay? Or would you like you to see you get someone else? So guys, that will wrap it up for this episode of the Championship Transfer Room Roundup. So like I said at the start of the video, some of these transfer rumors are absolutely ridiculous ridiculous at this point in time so let me know down below what you guys think of all of these but apart from that guys that will now wrap it up for this video so if you have enjoyed make sure you do leave a like it is always massively appreciated as well as that make sure you check out all of the other links in the description down below and make sure you subscribe for regular championship content but apart from that guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all in the next one